Hello, welcome to day 22 of the 90 day volunteer recruiting challenge. This is a challenge where I am attempting to recruit 50 volunteers over the course of 90 days. 22 days in, it's starting to feel real. Some good things are happening. Hey, I got an update. So this last Sunday, I was out of town and uh, it was, I wasn't sure where uh, some of the prospects who came to the previous week's orientation of where they were getting plugged in or where they were fitting. So here's a little bit of an update. There were four people who attended my volunteer orientation uh, a little over a week ago. And one of those people is uh, was a sixth grader and this person has been unresponsive. I've emailed the parents twice. I'm gonna text them next uh, just because they have to fill out an application and we have to get, we gotta get moving. We gotta get this new sixth grader plugged in somewhere. Uh, they were pretty excited about it, but um, they've responded to emails in the past, but not sure what's going on there. Um, another one of the adults is going to plug in more than likely on a weekly basis and uh, but had a medical emergency with a family member so wasn't there on sunday and then another one of the adult volunteers already serves on the worship team twice a month so on the months where this person isn't on the worship team they're going to be with us so next weekend will be that person's first weekend with us. And so, and that's all confirmed. And then I had another sixth grader uh, who came to the orientation and that one showed up on Sunday and it was a, it was awesome. It was perfect. They're like they were so jacked. They did such a great job, uh, served in a room and the leaders in that room gave this sixth grader a little bit of responsibility to see what it felt like and to to teach like a, a part of the activity or whatever. They loved it. The kids loved it. The leaders loved it. Uh, this sixth grader loved it. So what a big hit. So essentially, as soon as they finish the orientation, my goal is, is to get them background check, call the references, uh, get the process going. But for the next two to three weeks, I call it uh, observation. Um, there is a terminology that I use at one church where I was trying to kick off at one church called, uh, we'll call it test drive. And so it's an opportunity for them to get plugged in right away, but they're not an official volunteer yet. We've background checked them and we're putting them in rooms with other volunteers where it's a safe environment, but it gives us two or three weeks to, to finalize the vetting process, to do an interview with them, to check their references, um, have them go through our training processes and such. So of the four um, that came last week, one of them in, um, uh, one non-communicative, and two, um, other two should be plugged in this weekend. So that's exciting. Listen, it's no joke, it's a hustle. Uh, to get these people plugged in and moving and following up with to get them until they show up that first weekend and then the second weekend, it's not a habit yet. So you got to work hard at it. So that's just a little update of where we are. So 22 days in the process so far, and um, I've got I've got some movement happening. And here's the great part about it. Every week is going to be like this. Every week, one person, two people, three people adding to the rotation and getting plugged in and it just snowballs from there. So very excited about what's happening and uh, I'll keep you posted, uh, especially because this week we have another orientation and we should have some of the previous orientation people plugging in. Plus I think I'm going to have a good crowd this week for uh, the orientation. So I'll keep you posted.